Only in America, a black man can call the police and wind up being dead. Only in America, you can get pulled over for a suspended license or a headlight and wind up dead. They've proven to us that they're not to be trusted. You have not been listening for 400 years, and now you have no choice but to listen. We had a riot in 1991 for the same shit that's happening now, still, all these years, and it's the same result. Unarmed black men getting killed or getting their ass beat. They teach us American history and not our history. Show them who you are right now. We're not begging for respect. We are taking respect. That's why we are out here, to show them that we are taking our lives back in our own hands. Black people, we only want equality. Like, imagine if we wanted revenge, then it would be something completely different. Anyone who is depriving you of freedom isn't deserving of, an, of a peaceful approach uh, by the ones who are being deprived of their freedom. And when black people in this country uh, uh, come out from other days... shot like three times in the back. I want to say he was like 18 or like 19. He was like really young. So my mom thought, hey, let me try to give him CPR. Let me try to help him because the police officer was just standing around. And my mom bent down to help him. The guy told him, no, get back. So she's all like, no, this boy is dying. So she's going to try to help him. So she went down again and the guy pushed her back and then hit her in the a thigh with like a billy club, like twice. And then it made us go get wild. So they wind up taking my mom to jail for two days. And like, you know, the boy wind up dying. And that's the kind of shit that we go through, bro. I've lost friends through like gang violence. I lost friends from like gang activities, like going to jail for the rest of their life. I still have family that live around here. So I go visit, stop by, say what's up to my old friends and stuff. I'm on my way. For the simple fact, my mom was a single mom with 10 kids. So it was like, it wasn't at all a cakewalk or, you know, I wasn't born with a silver spoon or anything like that. So it's not a fair game when it comes to being black. Like, wherever you go, you're being judged. When they bring drugs here, like crack cocaine, they target the black areas, you know? So I wouldn't be surprised if that's like something that they're doing again, like targeting. All of this is set up for the white America to be successful. If we got the right education, you know, we, won't, we wouldn't be out of the loop like we are now. This is the perfect time for people to listen. This is a perfect time for people to like, you know, see what we've been going through for the last hundred years. If we don't push this Black Lives Matter, then no, I don't think that it's gonna stop. But if we keep our foot on their necks and we keep pushing the envelope and keep protesting and keep fighting for what's right, then yeah, I think it will change, but it's gonna take us. It starts with us, it starts now. It starts now.